It was approximately 10 o'clock when I received a call saying that the channels were down. And I received an SMS saying that the Internet Bank had some sort of trouble, that it didn't work and the clients couldn't use the Internet Bank. They didn't know exactly what was going on and I started to try to sort it out. From previous events we knew that it could be an attack. So we found out quite quickly that it was an attack. In the morning of the 27th of April 2007, amidst a row about the relocation of a Soviet-era memorial to fallen soldiers in Tallinn, Estonia fell victim to a cyber attack of a scale and sophistication never seen before. These were service denial attacks where very many computers sent a lot of queries to our servers. When we usually have thousands of clients sending their queries, now there were hundreds of thousands and they repeated their queries more frequently than people usually do. And banks were not the only victims. The websites of the government, national ministries, the media, the police, and even the national emergency number were also brought down. People of Estonia felt that there is a real threat to the national security, to, to all the people. The tension was uh, high, people wanted to get the news, very many are online, so they went for new services and suddenly they didn't have the access. Then they wanted to do their banking via internet and the banking servers were down. So there was a, quite an emotional reaction uh, that there's something wrong, that, well, up to the point that the government is not in charge. The attacks went on for more than two weeks, isolating the most connected European country. NATO was called in for help. NATO received for the first time from a member nation an assistance request in to defend against the cyber attacks. So NATO was not fully ready for it because it never happened before, but yet NATO uh, put a small amount of assistance in terms of sending an observer there and after the incidents to put a coordination role by coordinating with the other member nations, whatever the assistance available to help the, the colleagues in Estonia. When Estonia was attacked, NATO was already defending itself against cyber attacks on a daily basis. While Estonia was under the very significant uh, denial of service attacks, NATO too was under attack at the same time from the same sort of attackers. And so we had our own networks to defend as well. NSERC is located in the south of Belgium. It works round the clock to prevent, detect and respond to cyber attacks against NATO computer networks, which are vital to the safety and success of NATO operations around the world. Jeff is one of our analysts. He's looking at tens of thousands of cyber alerts, looking for potential attacks. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, but with a combination of his expertise and the technology we've deployed, we have a fighting chance. NATO has had its own cyber defense program since 2002, but the events in Estonia reminded everyone just how vulnerable modern societies are to the cyber threat and pushed the Alliance to develop a policy extending cyber defense beyond the protection of its own networks. NATO is now committed to provide assistance to a member nation when that is requested, and also in case-by-case -case situation to a partner nation if that's also needed. Our utility services such as water, gas, electricity, our air safety services, defense services, and of course our financial services all depend on their computer networks take away those networks, interrupt their service, and the effects could be devastating. Hackers know that. They can launch an attack from anywhere in the world, and they're difficult to trace. This is why the NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence in Tallinn is so strategic.
I would say the military term is train as you fight and fight as you train. So it applies the same way for the, the whatever you do, cyber defense. You have to have training on all levels. It, it's not only the security administrators, IT specialists, but also the regular military members have to know how to deal with those things. The Center of Excellence brings together experts from several NATO member states, and the list of contributing nations keeps growing. Together, they develop strategies to prevent, detect, and fight cyber attacks. Behind this door, this is the place where we do the cyber defense research and development. Unfortunately, this is a secure area, and I cannot let you in. The cyber attacks that hit Estonia in 2007 and other countries later made everyone realize to what extent an attack conducted from cyberspace can disrupt people's lives. It's clear that the Estonian economy is very vulnerable to an attack from cyberspace, as it depends greatly on the internet. For example, 98% of bank transactions are done electronically. So, of course, that means that if you manage to shut down those electronic channels, you'll stop the circulation of money and the economy with it. I think this is one of the lessons learned. Whenever we want to build a defense against cyber attacks, this has to be a fast response. Fast in minutes, not in hours. Aware of these new rules, NATO has been improving its cyber defense capabilities to be able to protect citizens against attacks conducted from cyberspace and continues to do so. NATO is transforming itself to meet the challenges of the 21st century and cyber defense is a, one of the core components of this. So NATO is deploying more cyber defense capabilities, operational, technical, on the computer networks, uh, developing capabilities to assist a member nation. We learned a lot of lessons from the events that happened in Estonia. The nature of cyber attacks is that they affect nations and organizations in the same way. It's absolutely essential that we employ collective defense. We need to work very closely with our partner nations and our commercial partners as well, because we can all learn from each other, we can help each other, and we can help protect each other.